Bon dia. Right, um, we we're having a bit of a late start this morning. Um, we did our first trip to Casella Branco last night or yesterday evening. Um, done some shopping. We had to get a cement mixer, pool pump, and some few other bits. Um, so we decided there because it had a Max Mart, Brick and Marche, and also a Levo Merlin. So um, we then ended up going out for our first meal since we've been here over a week and a half and first time we've eaten out. Um, so we chose a lovely little Chinese restaurant called Piquim and yeah, it was it was really nice. Um, so we didn't get home till gone midnight last night. Had a bit of a lie in this morning, just had some breakfast, so we're back to it now. Um, the job today then is this room, the second bedroom. We've prepared the floor, sanded it, um, put the woodworm preserver on it. Paul have removed the window. What we have decided in this part of the house, they've all been, they've all had brand new aluminium windows. Um, so we've taken the two out of this corner, this window there and that window there, they now, they basically fit the front two windows. So we're gonna have the four windows all across the front of the house, all looking exactly the same. We've bought some paint. Paul have roughed up the frames this morning from the outside. We're gonna give him an anthracite gray paint. Um, then with the front of the house end will be all painted white. So they should look lovely. Um, so that's a job for us today doing that. I'm about to start to paint the room. We've got a crack there in the ceiling from where they've done this, the concrete floors in the attic. So we're gonna repair the crack. Then I'm gonna start um, painting. And then final thing then, we'll be putting the, the varnish on the floor. Um, Cause we've got the lovely parquet floor in this room. Oh, where is it, where is it too? We can't see, there again. I can't turn my phone around, I haven't got the GoPro going. Um, yeah, so some lovely varnish on that. Paul has just gone down now. The pool is fully cured. The paint tab is at about 72 hours. So we're just gonna put the first lot of water in the pool and see how that holds up. So that'll be something on our agenda today. So time to get busy and um, we'll see you later on. Bye.
everyone um, on this video you'll see me blocking up uh, a doorway I used just old blocks which came out of some of the walls I knocked down and other new ones which were just floating around the house all different thicknesses different widths it didn't matter just bang them in there uh, filled as many gaps as I could and then used a new render um, and rendered it all up um, it was really nice to use the new render compared to just sand and cement um, stuck to the walls really nice um, and then like I said I've done rendering much before never used this stuff before much easier than what I done on the pool steps um, but was trying to use this stuff on the pool steps because I wanted to get some sort of waterproofer in with the mix um, yeah that's about it hope you enjoyed this video um, Thanks very much. to do it because I couldn't really buy any out there or nothing like what we got in the UK anyway um, uh, architraves I did find out there but just mentally uh, expensive I think a pack of four was something like 49 euros for what, uh, equivalent to two inch bull nose back here so I found um, some sawn timber uh, like a fencing product um, I think it was 15 mil by 100 mil. Um, I had to find the straightest pieces, which I found, and I think they were 2.99 each uh, euros. And I thought, yeah, we'll get a disc uh, sander on it, uh, put a little bit of a bevel on it, just sand it all down, but keeping the saw marks in, uh, just taking all the roughness away. My plan is then 
uh, when it's down um, I'll get a blowtorch and I shall blowtorch the grain a little bit more in places let it uh, come out and hopefully that should make it look older and blend in with the floors uh, the parquet flooring um, and they'll look more original and more rustic um, you know as Tony did put a woodworm treatment on it as well because just in case the stuff I've been killed while well within the little bits in the floor it hopefully won't go into the new skirting boards for the architrave I used the same wood but ripped it down through the middle with, with a, um, a small circle saw which gave me basically two by one um, and then just sanded that up as well um, hope you enjoy cheers Today, I'm going to be having a go at rendering with that Cecil Tech uh, render or how do they pronounce it? Redo. Mixed it all up, it's just water goes into the mix. I've tried it in a tyrolene gun, didn't seem to be working, but I think the mix was too soft because I did want to try the tyrolene gun out we bought for the outside. But it's going on the wall really, really easy. Compared to the sand and cement I was trying to fill in with yesterday, that was a nightmare. But yeah, it's going on all right. And uh, we'll have a look in a minute when it's all finished. Time for, for a copy. It's the in-laws look. So you want to have another tea break? I said four fun this morning. Hi, Gonna be right. working for 30 minutes. Okay. The character, I.
Hi guys, I'm back. Um, the GoPro, believe it or not, overheated. We're inside without the sun in the shade. It's that hot in the day. So I just put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. Um, I've literally, I think, just about got away with how much we, we've used a bag full of render. I've none left. I've banged it all on. Um, I have been using a straight edge after and dragging it down, taking off, remixing that cement back with the water to put in the bits which is like hollows. Um, and I think I've just about got away with what we've got. So the next bit now is fining down. Um, you can do it with a sponge because that's pretty much bang on flat now. Take it off the sides first. Like that. And let's insert the motor in. Take it back.
flare now. I think that's a good way. We'll give it five minutes, come back. And we're back. Give my rub down for I know since I've been using to any other trowel and just scraping the excess off the floor. And that seems swell. Still a little bit wet there. bit of a cleaner. Done. Let it dry. Might go over it a little bit more, but I'll do. Rusty go. Temple for a copy. Over and out. I'm going for a connector. <laughs> 